Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA is already preparing for Black Friday right now on this game, guys, and in more ways than just one. We're going to look forward to that in this video today and also talk things related to the FC Pro Live promo that dropped yesterday on the market with movements that you need to watch out for today, especially as it seems like a lot of hype is building for Black Friday and maybe less hype for this Pro Live promo at the same time and maybe an icon player SBC coming today it will be pretty useful for just about everybody. So there's a lot to talk about today. Buckle in. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go straight to SBCs and talk about this pro live content because we got the player SBC that we were expecting to get. It is Chucky Lozano, and it's all about the pace. It's a decent upgrade. Four star, three star. Not a bad card. It's actually not a bad price. I'm going to say that. Not a bad price either. It's an 83 and an 84 rated squad. And I don't know in what world an 83 and an 84 rated squad should cost 120k. But that is technically the world that we are living in right now. With Inform still being 40,000 coins apiece. And also with EA technically requiring an 86 inside of the 83 squad. Making it just a little bit more expensive. But like 120k for this does seem expensive. But when you think about it being an 83 and an 84 squad. It's like... Okay, maybe it's not that bad. So that's an SBC that we could potentially do for a pacey super sub. I will say as well, one of my favorite things that EA did yesterday is make it really easy to figure out what pro player is matched up with the item. You go to the additional information tab using the R1 or L1 button, and you can see here that it's Manu Bashor who is going to be uh, his basically results in this pro tournament that's going to be spanning across the next couple of months will be how this Lozano upgrades and he is a very very good pro player I think he won like the the world cup challenge last year he's one of the players from team Hullet it was Mena Bashor and Emre Yomaz. I'm not super up to date on the pro scene I'm going to be learning a lot through this whole promo but he is a very accomplished pro player he's very good and he is the one who is playing with Lozano and has you know greater chance to upgrade the Zano because he's pretty good. So we like that. Also yesterday, we had an SBC for him and Mark 11, the FootWiz Pro. And these are actually pretty important to do as well because they link to an objective, which we'll take a look at here in a second. So don't sleep on those, even though the packs aren't that good. They are very cheap. We also had the 82 plus team of the week player pick, which I think is mid, but it's actually a W because it's technically cheaper than what Team of the Weeks are going for on the market. And you can pack a pretty solid Team of the Week, which we did, to be fair, pack a couple of good ones yesterday on the stream on share plays. So that's something to watch out for. I, I would say this, though. Just be careful with all your fodder right now because we're going to need so much fodder at the end of this next week with Black Friday. Just be careful with your fodder. We also had a... Um, River Plate 96 by Enzo Francescoli kit dropped yesterday too. So River Plate fans, there you go. Or if you use Francescoli, you can have a kit now that is inspired by him. So that has dropped yesterday. And then, as we mentioned, the objectives that tie to those SBCs. This is the puzzle completionist objective where you do those different individual pack SBCs. And we love the puzzle SBCs, right? You do the cheap ones. It adds up. You get some extra packs. You get some XP. And at the very end, after all these are going to be dropped, you get an 81 times 11. So that's a W. Also, there's a gameplay one. You play some games. Very easy to do. You get XP. You get some packs. And if you do both of those, which I would recommend doing because they'll be really easy to do, you end up getting a completionist objective where you get a 1500 XP boost, uh, which for some won't matter. For me, it will. And then you get a 100, 100 players pack, a jumbo rare players pack. That's not a 100 players pack. That's a 100K pack. A jumbo rare players pack at the very end. So objectives tying into the SBCs and gameplay, I have no problem with that. There are some nice packs in there as well. Now, the objective that's causing a bit of confusion right now is this Diogo Jota FC Pro Live objective. It's a decent upgrade for Diogo Jota, but as you can tell, he's got the already updated card symbol, which a lot of the other cards, all the other cards that were dropped in the game yesterday, they don't have that, right? They are non-upgraded items so far. And actually, EA tweeted about this just a few hours after content saying, we are aware that the Jota does not currently feature a way to upgrade. I tweeted about this yesterday because... There's no way to upgrade this Jota card, right? He's he's already upgraded. EA has not given us another way. There's no additional information tab. He's not lined up with a pro player, uh, you know, to upgrade him during that tournament. So EA said that this was basically an issue that they messed up. He was supposed to be able to be upgraded in some way, shape, or form, and they messed that up. Uh, and they said that the player item will have potential to grow to an 87, so a plus one overall. 
by completing a future objective. So this is how it works. You have to complete this Jota objective, which is win eight games, not the most difficult. Win eight games to get this Jota, you get the card, and then you have to go do another objective to get him to a plus one, which a plus one on an 86, he's probably gonna get like plus one in every stat category, and maybe two of them like defense and physical gets plus two. So is it really that good of an upgrade? Is it worth doing? It is a five-star weak foot Premier League attacker with Portuguese links and Liverpool links. So yeah, it's a nice card. It's not amazing, but it's there. And so I don't know, do that, do with that what you will. But I think that was a little bit of a lackluster objective yesterday, kind of a big name player and it makes for the promo, but not something that I'm super excited about. And if it's going to be difficult to upgrade into an 87, I probably won't want to do that. But let's talk about this promo a little bit in general, as we look at some of the players uh, on the market. As we were kind of expecting, it is a promo that feels like a little bit of a filler promo. But honestly, this is better for a filler promo than what we've had in previous years of Ultimate Team by far. I mean, I think back to a couple years ago, right before Black Friday, it was a time on the game where you didn't even have promo cards in packs. It was a non-promo Friday. And now we are, we are still having promo cards out and released and everything. And they're live and upgrading. So it's decent. It's definitely an upgrade over the previous year's content, but I know a lot of people are not super excited about this, um, and especially because a lot of the cards just look okay, and they're really, really cheap. I want to talk about the team that is in packs right now, and also talk about some very interesting points that EA has spiced up this promo with that actually make it kind of cool. This page is actually very helpful. This is the page that makes things come together. You can see the pro player that links up with the actual card. I packed Malin yesterday, so I'm rooting for Malin now. That's kind of the fun part about this. Kind of like Road to the Knockouts. You pack a card, you kind of become a temporary fan of the team as you would like to see your card get upgraded. So I'm kind of rooting for Yilmaz that he can um, boss up in this tournament and Malin can get some upgrades because Malin would be pretty spicy with some upgrades. But I like this page because you can see the pro player, you can see some of their accomplishments and you know how tried and true they are in these pro events and what card they're tied to. So I'm a big fan of that. It's very easy to keep track of. And like again, once, um, like I said, once again, you can actually see this as well on the game. If you right click on the card and go over to additional information, this is cool. It lays out the upgrade path entirely for you in these cards. And of course, we'll be talking about as we get further down the line when these first games are happening, which is not until basically, was it like nine or 10 days from now? It's like November, I think it's November 27th is when the first upgrades will start to hit for these cards. So, and it's only for a couple of them as well. So we'll start looking at that as we go later on down the line this week. One thing to notice about this team, guys, is that since we have Black Friday starting next Thursday, you can see right here, well, actually you can, it's behind the camera, but this promo team is only in packs until Wednesday. They are gonna be going out of packs on a Wednesday and that's it for them because once we get to next Thursday, that is the beginning of the new season and also Black Friday. That's Black Friday almost always starts on the Thursday before Thanksgiving here in the US because that is when EA start the big time promo for that. So that's why this promo is shorter and we'll probably have a few less players coming out via SBC because of that. But I will say the pack weight on this promo team, we thought last week's pack weight was kind of high. This week, it's definitely even higher. Look how cheap a lot of these cards are. I mean... We only have one, two, three, four. I guess technically we have five cards that are over 100,000 coins and one card that is extinct right now, Kolomani, uh, which in my opinion, I think this card, I don't think he's going to be worth 650K, guys. I mean, the pro player that is attached to his item is Lucas, who is definitely a good pro player. I mean, all these guys are good. They're freaking pros, let's be honest. But 650K for this Kolomani card, when you compare him to Karamoa um, from the Serie A, Guys, they're actually not that far apart. It's kind of crazy. This card's 53K, and this card is extinct at 650,000 coins. I know he's more rare. He's probably harder to pack. I get that. This guy's a base silver, but, I mean, they're not that far off in stats, and I think it's kind of crazy that he's extinct. I don't think he's going to maintain his price. The only thing you could say is, like, well, Nate, look at Mane. They're not that far apart, and Mane's 760K. I hear you. I don't know. It's Kolo Mane, unless he's super crazy rare and has no pack weight. I don't think it should be 650k, but that's just my opinion. Regardless, the rest of the team, it's not bad. Like, there's some good cards in here. Karamo is decent. Ogbana plus 40 pace, right? What a pace boost for him. 115,000 coins. 
I like that one. Prem center backs. Nobody going to complain about that. Uh, Tovan as well in the Serie A, a French right mid, right wing. Koulibaly is actually very nice for Saudi league teams. This is going to be a card that will be something to watch out for through the whole rest of the year, at least the next couple of months in this game. 60,000 coins for Neymar links and a defender in a league that needed some love for links that's actually a solid card there Delhi Ali getting a massive boost to there's some skill move and weak foot upgrades of course on these cards and some work rate changes as well nice promo team like not bad it's cards that we don't often see promo cards for but no playstyle pluses and I think EA did that intentionally because playstyle pluses are a part of the upgrades that could happen down the line so that is why I think they didn't upgrade all these guys to see those if you look in the upgrade additional information i think it's down yeah six points you get a regular play style and then if you qualify for like the end tournament you get a play style plus so i think that's why they didn't do any of those so the team looks okay but they are really easy to pack and if you take a look at the store the pack percentages we're going to talk about the store in a little bit anyway uh pack percentages are really really high on these cards like if i go to a 50k pack 50k pack five percent 100k pack 10%. Like if you go all the way back here to the 225, it's 30% from that pack, which is kind of crazy. Like that's crazy compared to some of the last promos that we have had for a pack weight percentage. And that's why these cards are cheap, but they're live as well. So there's some trade off there. Other big news with this promo, I want to point out to you guys on EA's website. This is, I don't know how this is really affiliated with the promo, but this is actually really sick. We are going to be getting red players. So like red weekend league player picks of old. Um, it sounds like we're going to be getting a new Champions Pro objective during this promo that will allow you to unlock an evolution consumable. So an objective that allows you to unlock an evolution consumable that will transform players in your club into red players, updating their item shell to make that memorable color of Weekend League's pass. So it sounds like it's just a cosmetic upgrade only no stat upgrades for the cards but it's through evolutions it better be easy then if that's going to be the case and it better be very like very non-limited requirements like let us put basically anybody into that so that's really interesting um, and then also there's going to be the daily SBCs, of course, that we have to do through the completionist objectives and all of that. So that just sounds like it's a cosmetic only flex sort of thing via evolutions. We did not have any evolutions yesterday, anything new, but there are leaks of more evolutions to come. So um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Guess we're going to be getting multiple evolutions in the coming days because EA told us about one there. There's a leak of another one that we're going to cover in just a bit. But that was kind of all of the promo content that we had yesterday on this game. Now, let's talk about how EA is kind of getting us ready for Black Friday early. Uh, first of all, again, like last weekend, EA is running lightning rounds. And I think they just expired as I'm recording this video right now. I think they're expiring uh, very early in the morning hours today. Yeah, the, the 250K pack has gone away. But I tweeted about it. Um, just a little bit ago because they were still going on they dropped not one set but two sets of lightning rounds yesterday this set of 250k packs was released in the late night early morning uk hours uh, which is kind of like the na lightning rounds of old but they dropped these lightning rounds as well yesterday on friday during i think it was like an hour or two after content they are preparing for Black Friday, guys, by dropping them the lightning rounds in the store, getting us ready for lightning rounds. They're not starting with lightning rounds on Black Friday. They're starting early. They're doing it more often. They're getting those packs in the store. And that, for me, is like, okay, hey, EA saying we're getting ready for Black Friday. Now, also what they did yesterday was they dropped in the code. Now, some people may disagree with me on this, but I think this is purely from EA to generate some hype for Black Friday this weekend. Maybe to cause a little bit of a market crash, but just to get people excited about what is upcoming as well. Because how often, a week before the next promo comes out, do we see a card design added to the game code? Like, this is a leak, yes, but it's because it's added to the game code, guys. We saw packs yesterday and official card design added for the Black Friday promo, which is evidently called Thunderstruck. And wow, are these card designs absolutely insane. Like the lightning, the thunder, the clouds, like it just, it looks sick. This is, oh man, a really insane card design. This is the regular Thunderstruck card design. Um, even with like the bottom part, it almost looks like some of the team of the year cards of old where they have like stuff around the bottom. Of course, it's different colors. Black Friday, the promo cards are almost always black. I think back to signature signings. 
from a couple years ago. It kind of reminded me of that there. That card design is sick, but we're also getting more promo icons because we have a Thunderstruck icon card design as well. Foot Sheriff tweeted this out yesterday and said EA is ready to sell packs. Yeah, they've already started with lightning rounds right now in this promo and then posting the car designs yesterday in the code. It begins the hype for Black Friday, guys, is what it exactly does. And I think EA wanted that to happen, which is why they uploaded these car designs in the code yesterday and why they're getting people used to the lightning rounds as well. And I think it's going to impact the market 100%. I do expect to see more price drops on cards from what we've already seen today, especially on the out-of-pack side of things. Now, of course, let's talk about the market a bit. Of course, every single Friday we see this. This is the trend this year. Gold cards just get absolutely slammed. Usman Dembele, 48K. He's 34,000 coins. Uh, Marcus Rashford was another one. He's 52,000 coins. Yesterday before content, he was 70K. Look at these prices getting slammed once again on the golds. I'm not, you know, I'm thinking the market's going to drop on the gold cards, a lot of them, again, throughout the rest of this weekend. But I really feel like the market's going to drop more on these sorts of players. I mean, Musiala's back down to 500K, so he definitely is dropping a little bit. But over the course of this last week, right, the last two weekends, we saw a big-time panic sell, a big-time panic sell. And then some cards kind of rebounded up in the last couple of days as people were going out, playing weekend league. There was a little bit more demand for player prices. And really what happened was the panic selling stopped on these out-of-packs, more rare special cards, and, and prices prices kind of rebounded a little bit on some items. Some of the icons, look at Wayne Rooney, he's 800K. You know, after the couple weeks of panic sell, he was down at 707 last weekend. That was a really, really low point. I think we're going to be getting prices that drop down even more this weekend. I, I'm thinking that today, with the hype of this promo upcoming, the card design that looks sick, new promo icons, and just everybody being like, okay, Right now, we're looking towards Black Friday. I think that's going to hurt the market today. I do. I think it's going to hurt it over the weekend. We're going to have more SBC content that's coming out this weekend as well. So I'm, I'm being pretty careful. I know I've got a lot of my coins invested in the moment, but it's not really in meta cards, right? It's in other areas of the market that I think will end up being a lot safer, like fodder during the upcoming days just because it feels like this might be a weekend where not many people are buying and where we might start to see a lot of prices drop off more panic selling and when you have a lot of people that don't want to buy and people that still have to sell some cards because they bought this week or they still haven't sold yet before black friday this is kind of seen as like the last chance to sell they just it creates undercuts and prices just go lower and lower so i do believe there will be some price drops this weekend I don't know how drastic it'll be, but again, we've sold a lot of our cards. Uh, if you've been watching the videos, we've been talking about selling way beforehand, and I think that was the best play. I still think there are prices that are going to be dropping starting today. But like I mentioned, there's a part of the market that I still think looks pretty good, and that's this part of the market. Guys, I think everybody should be stocking their clubs at the moment, not with all ratings because some of the ratings are still a little inflated, like 82s. 83s are still a little high for what I would want to pay for them to stock them in my club, but 84s and above, 84s and above, the fodder market right now is lower than it even was before the weekend, and that's because they dropped those lightning rounds, guys, right? Double sets of these premium season opener lightning rounds, five 84 rated plus players in these packs, it's making a lot of the 84 plus rated cards drop. I mean, 87s I got yesterday for 14K. I was getting 88s for 22, 89s for 34,000 coins. It is an immaculate time right now to be on the market stocking your club. Now, we're going to talk a lot about fodder as we get closer to Black Friday and stuff like that, but this is a really good time specifically to get your club stocked and ready. Now, I've got a lot of my clubs stocked and ready as well. On the lower rated cards, the higher rated cards, right? We've got Player of the Month Mbappe. We've got maybe an Icon Upgrade SBC coming out soon. We have an Icon Player SBC that is coming out today, we believe. So it's not a bad time at all to get involved with the fodder. I'm going to back out of Alton team because it looks like the game right now is having some issues. We'll see if it lets me back in. But that's the point of what I wanted to say today. We'll talk a lot more about fodder. But if you want to do a club stock, I think you don't have to buy like right now, right now. I think sometime between... Well, yesterday around content when they were dropping these lightning rounds a couple hours afterwards and into like basically before Sunday's content, I think you want to have some fodder stocked in your club because after the weekend, after the lightning rounds and after the weekend league rewards end, I do believe some of those prices will be headed upwards and probably won't come back down again until after Black Friday just because of how much content we get during 
that time period. Again, we'll get a lot more specific with that here in a couple of days, but just start to think about putting a few of these in the club if you want to hold on until then. Now, let's talk about a couple of things that are coming today on Saturday. We've already alluded to it twice now with the Icon Player SBC, but there is a leak for an Icon Player SBC today, and it's actually a goalkeeper. And that's why I mentioned earlier, I think this would be a goalkeeper SBC or a type of Icon SBC that would speak to a lot of people. You might be like, really? A 300,000 coin goalkeeper on this game, like there would be hype for that? Well, Schmeichel is regarded with a lot of uh, hype and a lot of, I guess, just he's one of those icons that I hear pros talking about and that people talk about as a icon card in net. He is very, very good. Of course, you have the Vanderstars, you have the Yashin that are very hyped, but I hear a lot about Schmeichel as well. And it's an icon card in your team that would give links to everybody, right? Icons actually help chemistry this year and they have a lot more hype. And you can tell by prices on the market and how many people have wanted to do icon player SBCs this year. I think the Schmeichel SBC, which I believe is going to be dropping today because remember that content tweet that EA put out on Monday, we still haven't seen the icon player SBC from that. I think it's going to be today, guys. I think this might be today's SBC and I think it should be since he's around 300,000 coins in the market. Hopefully like a 250,000 coin SBC, it should be pretty cheap in terms of an icon player SBC. So that is cool. And also what we have to look out for are evolutions. Now, not only just the evolution that EA talked about here on their website for the red player picks, there is a right wing Evo that has been added to come soon. It's interesting. You can actually put in a pretty pacey player, but it still has to be a very low rated card. 79 max rating. I think a lot of people are starting to be like, okay, when are we going to be able to put in some players that are higher rated into these evolutions, right? I think that's the biggest question right now, but it all comes down for this evolution what to what the upgrade is going to be. Cards like Madueke, he's up a ton. Uh, there's a Real Madrid women's player, Naomi Feller, I think, who a lot of people would be very interested in evoing as well because she has 91 pace. She's max 79 rated. So she fits the requirements um perfectly almost and it's again it's again it's a real madrid linking player with 91 pace and also being french and can play striker so you know there's some good links there but it just comes down to how much can we upgrade the card what play styles how much of a shooting boost it looks like you may be able to give a big dribbling boost and a shooting boost if they're maxing the shooting and dribbling that low but the pace is that high not entirely sure that might not be today that could be an sbc that we see um maybe or sorry an evolution that we see on like sunday or even into next week on a Wednesday type of thing. But watch out for more evolutions because those are very, very possible in the coming days. And then also, um, today I would watch out for more SBCs related to the pro players, kind of those challenges that we have to work in and combine with that objective, the puzzle completionist, and then also more store packs, right? One of the store packs that was dropped yesterday, as we kind of end off the video, I'll open these packs that I have in here um, as we go to the store. One of the store packs that was dropped was the, what is it? Is it this one? Uh, no, it's the 80, this one right here, deluxe season number one encore pack. This is the one that guarantees you that road to the knockouts or trailblazer item 85 plus. There's another one of these that gives you an 86 plus and it's like 40 rare gold items or something like that. I think that that pack could potentially drop today or tomorrow on Sunday. So definitely keep an eye out for that as we pack a Bremer. I'm hoping that's Bremer 80 plus times two. Please be Bremer. I'll take that. Not bad. Decent fodder, I guess. So watch out for one of those today. And then also, I want to talk about the market here really quick after we open this pack. Also, the promo cards, they, they hide. These promo cards hide. So like right here, I'm packing Florian Verts. I could have a promo card behind this. Uh, okay, Hoffman, not Florian Verts. But yesterday when I packed, um, yes, I packed Malin yesterday and also Caballero. They both were hiding behind the card that came out ahead of them. So that's just something to kind of watch out for on the market now since ea have run these kind of late night lightning rounds as we head into saturday today i think this promo team as we always see on saturdays we will have some price drops like we almost always have price drops on this promo team but i think there's some cards in here that maybe have a little bit of a rise delhi ali i think has a decent amount of hype like i look at this card and i say especially as a former uh, spurs player i'm very interested to try him out but i think a lot of people have used delhi ali cards in the past and had really good luck with him Four-star, four-star, high-medium work rates, 
Like, this is a card that I'm kind of with the shooting and with the dribbling and with the work rate change, like a box to box. Remember his flashback card in FIFA 22 when he had the dreads? Like, that card was insane. And that's a card I want to try out because of some of the old cards that he's had before. Ogbana is another one that I'm interested in today. I think there might be a slight rise on these promo cards because, again, it's kind of similar to last week's promo where they're pretty cheap. The stab boosts are decent, and it's cards that you don't often get upgrades for. So pretty interested in maybe Delhi, maybe Tovin as well, maybe Karamoa. A lot of these guys have already had pretty good fluctuations on the market. They might have a couple rises today, but I would try to sell them a couple hours before content because they will probably drop further as we get closer to that so that's going to be the video for today guys watch out for more videos tomorrow and upcoming in this week talking a lot about black friday because we are getting closer and closer every single day of course that's how life works that's how the calendar works we just keep moving on right getting closer to these coming days uh, but we got to prepare for it and we're going to talk about, about that a lot in the coming days on the channel So if you're excited for that drop a thumbs up on this video comment down below if you have any questions And of course subscribe if you are new the black friday experience on this game is wild And I think we've learned a lot over the past couple of years to help you guys through it the best that we can But I will see you guys in another video tomorrow If you enjoy this one again drop a thumbs up on it and i'll see you guys there It's been nate with account and catch you guys later. Peace out